As summer approaches and the temperatures rise, so do the number of snakes. That's right. In today's morning, original 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter is live from Hidden Falls Park with how you can protect yourself and your pets. Good morning, Austin. Yeah, Dana and Beth, good morning. Well, there's about five to six different species of rattlesnakes that can be found across the valley, if you can believe it. And as those temperatures heat up, you'll see more of them out and about. And that's exactly why area parks have signs just like this one posted warning folks to look out for themselves, their kids and their pets. It was this time last year near Southern Highlands, we met this golden retriever, Lucky who really was lucky to be alive after being bit by a rattlesnake. I told them to do everything possible. I didn't care, you know, what, you know, price or anything like that. It was a major scare for mom, Ashley Heffernan. And unfortunately, this same scenario could be easily the reality for others in the valley as summer rolls in. So where we're at right now, any of these little rock crevices underneath these bushes, they'll just coil up in there so that they're, they're out of the direct sunlight. Doug Nielsen of the Nevada Department of Wildlife went with us for a walk through a wildlife hotspot, Hidden Falls Park in Henderson, looking for prime rattlesnake hangouts. They'll come out in the morning when the sun's first coming up and they'll get on these rocks or rock outcroppings and they'll, they'll sun there. This park is a popular one for folks to walk or hike with an incredible view. Doug says numerous walking trails or desert patches are perfect, not only for those trying to get outdoors, but are a favorite for rattlesnakes too. Doug's biggest piece of advice is to stay aware, watch your step, and if you or your pet are bit, take action as soon as possible. The most important thing to do is, is get medical treatment. And so you don't wanna try chasing the snake. You know, a lot of people get mad and they say, oh, I'm gonna get back at the snake. And then they actually risk being bitten themselves or bit again if they've been bitten. And if you are bit, the Department of Wildlife also says another thing you should do is try to take out your phone and take a picture of the snake. That'll help those doctors or veterinarians determine exactly what they're dealing with. We're live in Henderson this morning. Austin Carter, 13 Action News. Yeah, great reminder, Austin. It's easy for us to just get out there and enjoy yeah. and be careless.